Hello, it's Kevin De Silva here with Douglas Elliman, and I'm with Anas Afi with Loan Depot. Hey! Now, Anas actually did the purchase on my house, which we're shooting today from the house. Uh, we're out back by the garage, which will soon be an ADU, by the way. Uh, if you're curious about how that affects your home value, a side conversation, feel free to reach out. We can discuss that later. But I actually get this question all the time, and I think there's two parts to it, okay? There's the market part, which I'm the professional at, and not to say he's not, because, I mean, he does tons of loans, uh, but there's the, the lending part of it. I get asked this more times than anything, and the question is, where is the market going? Now, I can tell you where the market, the housing market's going, and there's a bunch of question marks, but I want to hear, what's the lending market doing? Well, we have less refinance because of the rate increase. Okay. Um, where it's going, we're gonna find that out on July 31st, once the forbearance moratorium is lifted. June 30th, but it'll take a little while for the defaults to turn into foreclosures. Pretty much, it's gonna take a couple months or three months. I believe we might see more short sales than foreclosures. Really? And I think if it's, that's the case, then rates will go down. If it's not the case, we're gonna continue, you know, climbing bit by bit, bit by bit. We're still at the historical lows anyways. As long as you're under 4%, you're still fine. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, you locked mine in at 2.375 with some purchases, okay? So I bought the rate down a few times. Yeah, tell me, could you do that again today? No. Okay, so rates are up. Rates are up. I, I say the average, the truth is between 3% and 3 and a quarter today. You might get lucky one day to get under 3%. It's possible still. But this is where we're at right now. And okay. if you would like to go to a 2.375, it's going to cost you a little more. I mean, a lot <laughs> more than when you bought your home, for sure. Well, my base rate was 2.75. And uh, and so so the cost of waiting, if like you could have bought four or five months ago, but you thought the market was too crazy, the cost of waiting has been a half a point at least. Half a percent for half sure. Half a percent, yeah. yeah half, so a, a point is a percent. So a half a point, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, not only that, property values have gone up in the last six months. So if you've been waiting, you're paying more on your monthly and you're paying more down payment, more, you know, more purchase price, more transfer fees. Uh, do you think a consumer would get hurt even more by waiting even further? Yes, for sure. They think that the comps do not support the prices, but houses are closing at very high prices. Yeah, yeah. And people wait it's close there. One, yeah. yeah. Luckily, it pays higher than I thought it was going <laughs> to. We were lucky, but <laughs> there were a couple of instances where people waived their appraisal and they came in low and they had to make up for the difference. Guess what? It's a new comp. Yeah, yeah. So it's going up regardless. Yeah. We're in Southern California. I don't think this will change. Yeah. Everybody wants to live here, especially the area we serve. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I work with the NAS quite a bit, actually. Uh, he helps a lot of my clients. Uh, I, it's easy to recommend you because Loan Depot just has the lowest rates. I mean, yeah, with the best service. Yeah, the, the best combination and the most important thing is that we deliver on the contingencies. Yeah. If you lower your contingency on a, a loan contingency on 10 days, we still deliver. We yeah. still close on 25 days. Wow. And that makes us very competitive out there, right? Absolutely. And uh, just to give you like insight, so he was talking about, you know, uh, if there are a lot of short sales in the market, uh, you know, after the forbearance period is up, then there will be uh, the rates will go down to basically cover for the for the economic times because short sales are bad, right? Yeah, short yeah. sales are bad, but it's gonna take a while before we see it, and it will depend on the market. It will also depend on the government because they might extend that forbearance. That is true. That's <laughs> why we need to see what's going on there. If they extend it, we'll be in the same similar market, and the time is now. The time is now. Uh, so. But as for the housing market, you know, I get asked about the housing market and I tell people, you know, the next, you know, yeah, hopefully, because I work with a lot of buyers and sellers and prices are up, you know, if you're a seller in today's market, you aren't hurt, you know, uh, you know, and you might hold out for an extra 10, 20, 30 grand, but at which point, whatever you were going to buy also went up. And if you're moving out of state, they're going up faster than we are. So you have like all these different factors coming into play. So when's the right time to sell when it's right for your situation? 
What's the right time to buy? It sounds like now. Yeah. Yeah. Now. I mean, well, yesterday. Yeah. Should have closed yesterday. <laughs> like you, you're a realtor. You know that better than me. Yeah. Um, houses in Southern California within 10 years double the value anyways regardless wow. what happens it drops for a little bit and then it doubles yeah so it's always a good time to buy I think yeah also it's a good time to to actually pull out some of your equity the rates are still very low yeah. and that's the cheapest money you can buy right now yeah okay now as far as the housing market is going just a couple of that you know I get asked the question and uh, so, yeah, later in the year, I hope it gets softer. But the reality is we just have to deal with what we have now. And the potential is later in the year, rates could be up. Uh, because there's more equity in the market than there was in 2008. For sure. Uh, which means that even if there is an increase in foreclosures, which there there are uh, six times as many defaults in LA County as there is on average, as there are on average. Mm -hmm. So even if you uh you know even if the, the the supply opens up it's not gonna be 2008 2009 you know it's it's just gonna hopefully you know level the playing field a little bit better right you're just gonna soften the market there's yeah. so many buyers yeah. right now every so sellers, yeah. and you you have listings every listing will get 30 offers sometimes 20 offers on so average it's like seven offers so if, if, you know, there are more houses in the market, it's just not going to be enough for everybody anyways. No? So, by now? For sure, by now. Well, one last thing I like to throw in about the market is that when the market goes down, watch this. This happened uh, back April last year. Uh -huh. I had three buyers that all took advantage of the market. You actually did two of the loans, so you, you know what I'm talking about. The first ones. <clears throat> the first yeah. one was in the pandemic, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and they were miracle loans. I mean, we're talking about a refinance across the country. We're talking about a foreign national. Like, these are miracle loans in a down market. And I will say this. In my experience, like, we basically went through a whole market cycle in a year. Yeah. Uh, in my experience, when the prices do drop, there's economic uncertainty. Most people out there want to wait it out. They miss the mark. All my clients who bought then at least make $100,000 if they resold their house right now. And that's the cheapest house. The more expensive ones, $200,000. There was a seller panic back then. Yeah, yeah, there was a huge seller panic. But here's the other thing. When lending gets tight, it becomes so hard to get a loan that you'll wish you had bought when the prices are up because you'll just be renting again. That's true because when it's sliding, the equities are sliding. Yeah. We put more restrictions. We want to make sure we get the right collateral. Yeah. I mean, That's we're talking about twenty percent down minimum. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. So anyway, thank you so much for being with me no, today. My pleasure. And uh, again, bye, bye now. Kevin, the silver checking out. You guys have a wonderful day.